Well, it's an ambitious goal, but the Greater Victoria Coalition to End Homelessness is focused on ending homelessness by 2018. The coalition opened the doors of shelters across the city this past week, inviting the public to learn about programs and services available. And RV Cooper brings us a look. More than 250 men, women and children are housed every night in one of six emergency shelters in Greater Victoria, but it's still not enough beds to fill the need. We turn people away here every day, so we run at over 100% capacity in our shelter with our shelter beds, and we have overflow mats that are often entirely full as well. A typical stay in an emergency shelter is less than 30 days as the coalition works to find more permanent accommodation. We found a family sleeping outside uh, in a car with a broken back window, and luckily we had one of these available and we were able to bring them in. It was December 24th. The parents hadn't actually told the children much about what was going on or that it was Christmas because they didn't want to disappoint them. When I introduce you, I'm not likely to read your bios. As part of Homelessness Action Week, these three brave souls agreed to share their stories at a public forum. I'm gratefully housed. I live in low-income housing and I've been there for 17 years. And if it wasn't for that low-income housing, I probably would have been homeless because I lost my job. And then things spiraled from there. Michael is still hoping to find something he can afford on a disability pension. It is a huge struggle and there is help, um, you know, right from the ground up, uh, you know, from fellow homeless people speaking to other homeless people, uh, sharing their experiences and pointing in directions to where to go. My story is, is very painful. It's difficult. Um, I had a horrific childhood. Bernice knows the services available rescued her and her two children. Each day, she walks the downtown core. There are people that I actually go and talk to every day because it's important for them to, to know that somebody really cares about them. And this young boy stood up and he looked at me and he says, can you just hug me? We are making progress. So how close is the coalition to its goal of ending homelessness by 2018? We need supportive housing and affordable housing. So supportive housing, we need between 250 and 700 more units, and we've built 250 since the coalition was founded. Affordable housing, we probably need in total about another 1,500 units. Time will tell if those units can be found. This check program is brought to you in part by Victoria Foundation, connecting people who care with causes that matter.